Hi, welcome to another episode of Would I Buy This Again? In today's episode, I will be talking about the Olympus Pen F, which is this beautiful camera. And if you're any bit of an Olympus enthusiast like myself, you definitely know this camera. But for everyone else, the Olympus Pen F is a 20 megapixel micro four thirds mirrorless camera that was released in 2016. It was marketed sort of as the digital reincarnation of the uh, original Olympus Pen F, which was a 35 mil film camera from 1963 uh, from the top of my mind. And it was marketed as really a premium addition to the digital pen series. It was and is the only pen with a built-in electronical viewfinder. I don't know if you can see it. It's on the top left back of the camera. So let's get started. So why did I buy this camera? Well, like I said, I really am an Olympus enthusiast. I've been using Olympus cameras ever since the EP1 came out in 2009. And I have had and have a lot of pens and own these ever since. And yeah, this really being the premium pen, this was a camera that I, that I had wanted for quite some years. And I finally got myself one two years ago. I found one secondhand in very mint condition. It came with all the original accessories and box uh, and the 17mm 1.8, which is really a perfect uh, combination with this camera. So what do I like about this camera? Well, there's in fact a lot to like about this camera. First of all, I would say uh, it's, it's looks, uh, which was the initial, initial reason uh, why I wanted this camera. It really has this uh, sort of premium retro rangefinder look to it, uh, which if, if that's something you're into, makes this camera very desirable. It just looks very good, at, at least from the front, um, but I'll come back to that in a bit. Um, so it, it, it looks great, it feels good as well. There's a solid body with a lot of metal uh, on it. So yeah, a very premium feeling and looking camera. That's the first uh, thing that I really love about it. The second bit, I would say, um, is the electronic viewfinder. Like I said earlier, it's the only pen with a built-in electronic viewfinder. Um, and to be honest, I mean, even though I, I did shoot for years without one in the older pens, these days I feel every camera I, I use or I use often should have built-in EVF because it's just so much better uh, than just, just looking at a, at, a, at a screen. Yeah, that's something I really like uh, about the Pen F. And then the third uh, thing that I really like about this camera is the built-in color profiles. It has this manual switch on the front of the camera, which I'll try to show you, which has some uh, color profiles in it, some uh, black and white profiles, as well as some art filters that you can use. Well, I myself don't really use those art filters, but the color profiles and the black and white profiles that are built in this uh, camera really are quite nice. Uh, it gives you very nice straight out of, um, out of camera JPEGs, uh, which I frequently use when I use this camera. So that's something else I really like about this camera. And finally, I have to say that just the image quality um, from this camera uh, really is very good. Uh, this, this was a very capable sort of semi-pro camera back in 2016 when it came out. And if you ask me, this uh, it, it's still the same um, seven years later and now in 2023. And even, even though you could say that there's a lot of more modern or more recent cameras uh, that can do a lot more, um, but Either way, this is still a 20 megapixel camera with built-in image stabilization and a lot of custom features and functionalities that will allow you to make great, great stills. This is, a, this is just an all-round great camera and very, very capable. So that's the um, uh, fourth thing I really like about it. But then let's move on to the things I don't really like about it. And this might be a bit controversial because I know this is a very popular uh, camera and I used to be nothing but excited about this camera when I first got it and before I got it, obviously. But I have to say not everything about this camera is as perfect um, or magical as I had imagined uh, before I got it. And I think it's only honest to uh, mention that things 
those things as well. So first of all, uh, back to it looks. I just told you I really like the way it looks from the front. And I'll show you its, its, its back side uh, and its top. And to be honest, I think whereas the, the front of this camera looks really pretty and clean, um, the top side looks very busy and, and to be honest, I don't really like the way all the buttons are laid out and, and, and uh, the amount of buttons. Um, if you comp compare it, for example, to the original uh, pen, the EP1, uh, and you put them side by side, I'll try to show you, very clean front. And then if you look at the top, the EP1 is still very clean. There's just not so much on it. And you see, well, the, the, the pen F is just so much more crowded and, and busy. And the same goes also for the back. It's just, um, yeah, it, it, it has gotten so, so messy in my opinion. I think there's a lot more on it than I wish there would be on it. And that's something I definitely do not really like about the pen F. Next thing I don't really like about the pen F is um, well, still about the controls. Uh, and specifically so the, the on and off switch, uh, which is here on the left, it's quite hard to, to turn over, uh, which is nice, for example, compared to the, um, the, the EP1 or the later EP3, which has it even closer to your, uh, where your finger is resting. It goes on sometimes too easily, but in my opinion, the Pen F just turns on a bit, bit too hard. It's not, it's not a camera that you can easily turn on, especially not with one hand, because well, I, I always keep it in my right hand and I can't really reach it with my right hand. So the placement, I would say, is not ideal. And also, yeah, it's not, it just doesn't really feel like something you easily quickly put on or off when you're walking and you want to, to snap a picture. So that's one thing in particular about the buttons in use that I don't really like. Apart from that, yeah, like I said, I, I don't really like the amount and placement of the buttons in general. And then something else about this camera, uh, I don't particularly like the way uh, you, you hold it. The, the grip is not so great. There's the ECG4, which I also got that you can put on it for improved grip. Um, I have to say with this grip on, it's really much better. I'll uh, quickly put it on to show you. Um, so it, it really gives you a sturdy grip with this attached, um, which makes it much, much more usable. But for me, this is not something I would want to have on it all the time. Um, I mean, it, it, it's like I said, a beautiful camera like this from the front. Um, so. I'd like to keep it like that, more minimal. But the grip, I mean, if you're using it for a longer time, it's just not very comfortable without uh, the added grip. So to answer the question, would I buy this again? No, I wouldn't. Um, and this is weird for me to say because, because it's a camera that I had wanted for so long and that I know is very popular among Olympus enthusiasts. But for me, um, given the pros and the, and the disadvantages, I would not buy this camera again, which is not to say that I don't that I'm not happy to to own it because I am, and I am definitely not selling it either. But I think um, even though this is a very capable camera and a, and a good looking camera overall, it's just way too pricey these days for what it is. Uh, for the price of of what what these go for in a second hand market, you can probably also get yourself like a, a second hand EM5 Mark III or even uh, an EM1 Mark II or III, if you're lucky. And those are just, yeah, more capable cameras, uh, easier to, to use, uh, you know, better grip, better economics. So I think that would be the smart thing to do. Uh, and that's what I would do if I, you know, needed a, a, a camera now. So no, I would not buy it again. That said, I am happy that I have it. I don't use it as often as I would have imagined, you know, al although this one has the electronic viewfinder, there's definitely a few pens at the moment that I'm using more. 
and I want to review them shortly as well. So I'll, I'll keep that uh, out of this video and I'll save that for, for another one. And I'll talk a bit more about the other pens that I haven't talked about yet on this channel. So yeah, that's it. I am very curious to about your experiences uh, with the Pen F or uh, if you still want one and why do you want it or why you don't. So let me know in the comments below and hope to see you next time. Bye.